You know, there are so many people that want to do what you're doing, but they have a great fear of how do I really qualify not only the deal, but the person that I'm lending to. What are some of the things that make you say no? No skin in the game. And I would say no experience, but uh, you can overcome ex lack of experience with skin in the game. Mm -hmm. So if someone's willing to risk a whole lot more than what they're asking me to do, then uh, and the numbers, the metrics of the transaction work, then we can consider uh, that transaction. But it's mostly the character of the folks that you're doing business with. Awesome. You know, that's something that's still important to us with the size of the fund that we're dealing with, the number of borrowers that we're dealing with, character is still number one for us as well. It's always character, number one. And then uh, th then you look at the transaction. And, you know, it turns out to be repetitive people. Mm -hmm. right. the, the good people uh, borrow money, do a transaction, make a lot of money, pay a little bit of interest, and then do it again. And so uh, the, that, that's the majority of our transactions. Uh, it's it's on rinse and repeat. And so then you, here, here's something else though. When, um, if I don't personally um, generate a, a transaction or an opportunity, then I've gone to uh, Carolina Capital Management and ask if you guys have any notes that you would sell, you know, the whole note or part of a note. Uh, many times I've invested in notes with you guys and that takes capital that is uh, sitting uh, uh, on the shelf and puts it to work, you know, instantly. And that's, that's where somebody who wants to start, that's a great place for somebody mm -hmm. without any experience who wants to lend is to uh, take a piece of a note that you guys may have. Awesome. Thank you for mentioning that. We, yeah. we love doing that. That's Jonathan works on that hard. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, just pointing out one thing, it's you, you, you mentioned it idle money. And like when you can buy notes or have deals, like you can hold out and try to get that perfect situation where you think you're going to get 12, 14% or you can put your money to work. Now, if you wait three months to find that that situation, you might find it. That's three months of idle money that you weren't making anything. So your 14% isn't 14. <laughs> That's right. You know, so it, it's getting it working. And, and you know, sometimes work, I mean, not sometimes, all the time, working money is better than not working money. So uh, we completely agree with you on that. And, yeah. can... and, and what a new investor who wants to, who's just opened a, uh, self-directed IRA, they don't have the experience in lending. Uh, they don't know how to qualify a deal yet. They don't know how to qualify a buyer yet. They don't know how to do the paperwork yet. Uh, they don't know how to collect the money. They don't know how to even fund the transaction. And so right. uh, you guys are a good in, uh, entry ramp into someone who wants to get into that space.